Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play as the 13 colonies of loyal British citizens. Yeah, I checked to see, no, subjects, ah, I almost got the name right. <laughs> 10 episodes in guys, Th think of it this way, by episode 14 I should be getting it right. That way it's only taken me a fortnight, <laughs> in your guys' eyes. Um, uh, I actually had to close the game and load it up again. England's colonized up here, that's going to go for Newfoundland, uh, but I accidentally loaded in as England. And the thing that I find interesting is England, the terra incognita that I explore, England doesn't get, doesn't get to see. And is it just me, or um, you'd think that a colony would provide maps to its, you know, its overlord. Then again, you'd think the same with subjects, and it just doesn't work that way in the European Universalis. What four levels are you guys? One, and no, that's tax. I paused. I don't quite remember where I'm walking. Screw it, I'm going to take attrition, but I'll go there and I'll work this out. Fort level is where? Scroll down with my fort. What if I'd house? I would understand this for a European one, I'm just completely lost. That's great, I'm going to change the plan that we had. We're all going to meet up here. We're going to detach the most effective siege we can. Then we're going to go deal with Chickasaw. Against. So you guys are. Oh yeah, we just had a load more things revealed. We can only declare a war on them for a neighbour and we can't colonise over there. I wonder if, say for instance, we got into a war with the Netherlands, which we can't do. If England got into war with the Netherlands and we sent ships over and we took one of these places, why the hell would you be going for Sierra Leone? You go for this one, you get a colonial company. That's got to help you out. I know you have to worry about them trying to break free, but I think... Other people can only support their independence when it gets to 50. It'll only get to 50, apart from with, um, you know, bad events. It'll only get to 50 if you tax them 50%. I mean, England's kept us quite happily at 25 here. I still maintain it's less than income tax, so... <laughs> that seems fine to me. On the 15th, so let's wait to the 15th. They all arrive, good. Merge up. Detach enough to do a decent siege. And 6th on their 8 should be more than enough. We even have some cannons. I would have thought it would have left more cannons behind. Actually, no, because isn't it three that's required to get the next bonus? It tells you four. No, so it'd be four to get a plus two bonus. So yeah, it makes sense to split off individual units. Then six, then eight, then ten. So ten's the maximum. So to be honest, I do. I probably want to stay. We're too small at the moment, I haven't got large enough eyes, but we probably want a stack of 10, which can go around help, just helping out sieges. Right, come kill their units. Are we going to get them in one, or are we going to have to chase them to Tennessee? We got them in one. Detach siege, go up. Fort level two. Okay, we're going to do this a different way. Merge up, split in half, one go up there. That's leaving... That's fine for that. I saw these guys moving up here, and for a minute I was like, are they going to attack me? Um, and here, we're going to... I want to create a new unit. How do I create a new unit? Great, I'll split in half and reorganize. Leave that. Split this unit, you guys come back here. And I'll make a reasonably laid out unit. Actually, no, you've got more. And your fault level is two, so you can have some units removed from you as well.
Oh no, because then you need more manpower to do it. Are we refilling our manpower up quick enough? We need 500 men, we're getting 533 there this turn. Okay, I'm willing to send him there, it'll probably be a month where that's not enough. But that's fine for me. Fort level 2, Fort level 2. Oh, because he's already taken some losses, so that's fine up there. So that'll work for us as well. I might, I probably should have left them in place. We get seven here. The extra cannons aren't going to actually do anything. So just to avoid the attrition, detach for siege, and move forward. We'll wait. It's 14%. We'll wait for that siege to fall, though. Minus 42, minus 49, but now you're able to siege it. Good. You're at 35%. I'd hope you'd fall this tick. So, yeah, one in three. Come on. Flip a three-sided coin and we're good. 49. I know it's not guaranteed, but I, my head says it has to be. <laughs> Come on, 49. 49ers. The Cherokee 49ers. That's a gridiron thing, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry, I know it's not. Why... Oh, you didn't. We're up to 63% chance. Are you freaking kidding me? 63%. Our missionary's almost done. And it looks like he's going to finish before they finish. Good. And the other army up there is split up. Come on. At 63, are we going to get through? No, we didn't. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh, lovely. They're at zero, it's 35, so they're going well. Comet is sighted. And here's the extra options they've given you. I prefer the, um... Is it Death and Taxes? On one of the mods, for you three that added more options. Uh, one of them is Paradox Hates Me. <laughs> it's an omen. It's an omen of good things. Idiots. Let's have three seats. How much does a level one guy cost? Only two. And how much money am I making? Despite being up at three colonies. Oh, at three colonies we're not making anything anymore. For some reason our colony in Pudwakumi or whatever is costing us more. Do I have... I never recalled him from here. Oh, and I never moved you guys down either, did I? Merge up. Attached to the boat. Select the freaking boat! It's obvious! And you guys go straight down there. Hopefully it won't fall. You're now bigger than um, Pony anyway, so we'll leave you there. Fall, damn you! Thank God you fell. And I've got to remember I have the pause being set up. If you both meet up in Monica, we'll merge you up and try to match you straight at the rebels, because I prefer them not to succeed. I think for it. Oh good, it's not the rebels fight you present, the rebels have just got to zero. You guys are actually both there, so merge up. Come at the rebels. Come at them, bro. You give me military access. Good, means I don't have to kill you. And that's gonna make me moving my troops around a hell of a lot easier. Oh, I had to wait for him to actually say yes. <laughs> I, I, I guess it's polite to wait for the answer and not just to march your troops straight through in the first place. Um, <laughs> a diplomat has arrived. Okay, yeah, cause we, but we hardly use our diplomats. You're about to fall, so I'll be able to send you guys up to help. Might as well just leave you guys sieging there. And this is where we are actually going to use our diplomats. Because, although we're going to get a good bit of overextension, we'll grow this way. Oh, I thought that fell, but it didn't. Oh, that fell. Right. That means the units are no longer you know, nicely stacked, uh, separated. you got to keep them separated. Bit of offspring for you. Oh, cool. Base tax 4. And show province. Base tax 2. 
If you annex him, that should do me some good because it might... Okay, Scotland has one, two... I know that's a colony, not a city yet, but... The population is effectively a city, we'll call it. So two, three, needs doing, but if they colonize here, is there a little guy there? Because some natives, I think he might have just been pushed out there. But I want to see a Scottish, a Scottish colony up there. Come on, take out the rebels. Is he halt? Pro oh, progress is halted. So he got to ninety something percent that the progress was halted by the freaking rebels. We've got more morale, so that's fine. They've done another siege there, but we're at one hundred percent with Cherokee, so it doesn't really matter. Nanga conversion successful, which means Jigsaw wants to make peace. I don't care. Uh, send up to Huron. So if I hold off for maybe two years for this peace deal, if it takes me that long, which I hope it wouldn't, but if it, did, if it took me that long, it's not going to, that's the main problem with that, but if it took me that long, Then, actually, you go sit on Erie. You're going to be a port level one. So you know, don't sit on Erie. Sit on mine because they they're, they they might, they might be a higher port level, but they're not going to have to match up there first yet. Come on, seven percent. Are we are we going to tick? Oh well, we're not going to tick. We're on pause. Still happily patrolling. You are still both waiting to become cities. You are both there. Okay, so our three are growing. Delaware's quite nicely sized. Does this... They do, border. Damn it. Where's Spain colonizing? It seems strange to me to sit them with four here. You know, as crown colonies. If you're going to go for a lot in one area, to me it makes sense to hit the five and then move on to another area. Well, I guess not. Then again, the AI's you know, not particularly known for always being the smartest, and it's a new feature, which a lot of human players won't know the micro to yet. I'm not saying I do. I would like to point that out for a start as well. I'm not saying I do. But... Don't run away. Come back here. Okay, we've got some pathetic little reinforcements. It's fine. We'll be able to detach a siege there. Means I can just send you up north. I don't want to split in half. Attach a siege, then come back up here. That should be both of them being sieged out. Fort level 1, only really a port level 0.65, point level 5. Because they've lost units of it. Effectively, it was sieged and you know, it hasn't been able to reform yet. An Imperial reform from the Emperor. Good. It's good to see some progress there. I wouldn't mind seeing a strong Holy Roman Empire. Because they don't colonise. And a strong Holy Roman Empire would mean... The other, like... Well, mainly France, I say. I don't know, Denmark's trying to colonise as well. But yeah, mainly France would... Uh, ...be weakened. Is that Burgundy, I see? Yeah. <laughs> Burgundy's independent. I thought I said the Burgundian's Republic, then. Yeah, King. Part of uh, the, uh, the Habsburg dynasty. It's actually quite good because I believe if you go to no, Burgundy's diplomatic map. Burgundy's diplomatic. You kidding me? They only have a core here now. Province view. No, no, I guess Spain has it. Yeah, Spain's von Habsburg as well, isn't it? Still. King Philip von Habsburg, yeah. And Portugal's under them. Oh, one thing I did find out um, is if your country... I 
can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, it was so fresh in my head and now it's completely gone. So you guys are 100% now, so... Unless you're offering full annexation. No. <laughs> Diplomacy. Super peace. Full annex would give me how much over extension? Twelve over extension, and twelve is from free base tax. So it's times four. Yeah, that's it. Times four. Uh, so I can spend up to twenty-five base. Get up to twenty-five base tax. That's three, five, eight, ten, eleven. So I should be able to quite happily. You know, just, uh, actually, I don't want to annex them yet. What are we looking like on the religious front? Nah, screw it. We're not going to get religious unity, but... There we go. Full annex. I am going to have to call them. So it probably means worthwhile leaving the troops there. But we can call them after we've converted them. That's the point. I don't have actually... Did I call that? Claim. Am I automatically calling them once we convert them? Okay, I'm lost there. I'm sure I would have tried converting them before I called them. And we have three sieges going, 7%. Minus 42, minus 7. Diplomats came home. It's fine. If I've got room, it's for Cherokee next. I'd like their war with Chokawa to be over and to at least have taken this province. Which isn't the capital, I don't believe. What the province? No, Chikawara there is a problem, so they might take it, hopefully. Battle of Delaware. Delaware's going to change soon. How are we looking on money? Okay, we will drop back down to... So I'm supposed to be saving money up to pay off the loan, that's right. Uh, we will drop back down to two colonies after this. England has given us one as well, so we can sort of consider that three colonies. And they have their settler there. They, oh, they have it up there as well. So England's really focusing on creating its colonial countries to be larger and more powerful. Zero, 28%, 28%. Come on, guys, fall. I know this isn't going to be connected, but I believe you have allies, don't you? Oh, they're not technically a navy yet, so we can't declare war, and that's fine. Okay, the two sieges there have fallen. So we're now just waiting for Erie. Come on, fall. 56%, come on, fall. When you've already failed a fort, you thank you. Diplomacy, super peace. Full annex, another... 12 over extension. Because the base tax won. Screw it. Colonies became self sustaining. Excellent. The peace deal, fine. Now, you need to have. Over oh, colonies isn't back yet, it's going to take 10 days. So I think annexing the larger guys. Let's go to the overextension menu. We're 52. Eerie is 12% overextension of that. Oh, yeah, I have been calling them myself, haven't I, to get rid of the overextension.
it contributes 20 of our total over <laughs> contributes a quarter of our total overextension. But we can't core it at the moment because we're not connected, so we're going to be stuck with 4, 12, 24 overextension. Let's make a start on what we can. You'll be a valid target. <laughs> You're a base one tax. You're a valid target to core now because we want to join them up. And we now border you, so let's. We have no diplomat to send, that's fine. Conversion successful. Yeah, we wasn't waiting another 11 months for that. Let's keep sending to the quicker ones. Already working on car in it, so we can't do that. That's fine. Um, diplomacy. One, two days, diplomat. Thank you. Both diplomats came back. Show superiority. You have no allies. How are you looking in your current war? Plus thirty-six percent. I think we hold off on declaring war on you until your war is over. I so prefer how we was at, uh, you know, in five years' time, fair enough, uh, but how we was looking at the end of episode eight, because 13 colonies was just written big over all of here. Why are you just sitting there? Come on, this siege is out. Oh, Scotland, yes. So, Scotland now has... Yeah, when these finish, this is going to be a Scottish colonial company, which we're going to border. <laughs> Just. And I will uh, annex the Scottish company. <laughs> Can't let the Scot Scottish co uh, colonise. It's just not historically accurate. And again, Nars 13 colonies being <laughs> uh, this discontinuous blob. And I apologise for anyone who likes neat borders. I'll work on improving them. Let's grab my troops. My capital should have a good support limit. Yeah, 56. So we'll sit them there. Because we have military access, we can march up and down wherever we like. Oh yeah, you are moving good. <laughs> can I see the progress of this siege? 35% in the positive. Red, but it doesn't matter. It always be red. It's never going to be in our favour, so it's never going to be green. And it's rising koi. Yeah, when there's a huge army marching into it, so that's pointless. Wish the Netherlands would work there. The yeah, French are making French Canada bigger. The Earth, no Canada, like French Canada, it's a miss Canada. Whoa, them to a good base tax. Uh, three, and another three. French Canada should be a valid target. But we'd have to get caught, uh, claims. We can get claims on... That's why we could use that. Resource depleted by natives, which does affect us, but doesn't affect natives. Um, I hate that you can't see what base tax it was. That's what it's currently paying out. I don't care what it's paying out. It's not paying out to me. It's paying out to France. Okay, 100%. How are you going to finish this war? Take Tuskegee. Take Tuskegee. Full annex. Brilliant. So let's work this out. I have... Uh, under 50% overextension to be able to spend. So that means I can spend about 12, get about 12 base tax. Two, six, ten, twelve, thirteen. How long until some of them have called? Four. 
49. I'd have to make him a protectorate and not a full on vassal. Then again, I could always release. Uh, Chocotau. I oh, know, because Chocotau the ones would be some of the good ones. Three of the only ones like that. Then again, I could do that just purely to get back under the overextension. I could just release them. And then it gives me a bit of buffer time to wait until Scotland lost its colony. It's, wor it's working at it again. I can't believe how good at colonising they're doing to say the, you know, they're not supporting them with troops. Which I've undone, actually. <laughs> uh, Koi. And the 1-1. One, one. You come here. You need to be standing in your colonies protecting them. And making the troops rise again so we end up killing them and get even less base packs. Colonial rush. What's that do? Settler chance plus 5%. Global settler increase. Oh, brilliant. Money. No, because it's eight. It's four for the next one. No, it could be more, actually. They say, while we've got the Colonial Rush on, would it be worthwhile getting the second one? Because we've got an extra, you know, basically a free 25 uh, per year thing, but no. Is there a advisor who would be worthwhile taking? Discipline, take less damages, let our manpower regenerate. Only level one, costs us two a month. I think you'd be winning. Because the uh, level 3 manpower guy we're not going to be doing. We don't really have any diplomatic reputation to worry about. Spy offence, colonial range doesn't affect us because we're going to do next door ones anyway. And production efficiency. How much money do. Uh, that's plus 10%. How much money do we make from production? We make 9.74. Sorry guys, I know you can't see my calculator, but I'm cheating. We make uh, 9.74 divided by 60 times by 70. Because we're getting plus 10% and we're currently at 60%. So that takes it to 11.63. So let's now minus out 9.74. One point six two. However, despite the fact he's not going to pay for himself, because he's only going to make this about one point six gold a month, he's also more points, which I didn't take into my consideration last time. So let's take him and take the discipline guy. It's also given us the option for some national decisions, which lots of options there. What's this do? Lose administrative power. Tech cost goes up. Production efficiency goes up. 5% for the tech cost isn't worthwhile at the moment. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately that's all the time we have for today. So as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.